Hey, my name is Xavier Arte. Um, I'm here to represent the Hôtel Col de la Province de Namur. So I teach English um, in hotel management, particularly. And so the courses, of course, revolve around hotel management. Of course, uh, the hotel facilities, the way you should, of course, handle complaints and handle, of course, other issues with customers. The purpose is to maximize customer loyalty, as we say. And um, of course, English is, a, well, a of paramount importance if you want to work in the hotel sector, whether you start a career in Belgium or in a large group. So for them it's essential, I mean, to practice English at an early stage and to um, to reach uh, the highest, well, the highest possible level or uh, to get as high as they can in the practice and, and also master the language if they can. It's a subsidized public school, right? We belong to the Belgian-French community. Uh, we are set in Namur, which is the capital city of the Walloon region. So it's a very beautiful environment, I must say. It's very green. And um, our premises are split on, on different premises, right? Because uh, our students in agronomy, of course, are set in the countryside, so a few kilometers from, um, from the city of Namur. Um, we provide, of course, state-of-the-art technologies and we pay particular attention to the human dimension. So we are a small school. We revolve around, well, it now more or less 1,000 students only. They, they of course, right, need to, to practice a lot. Of course, theory and practice go together. So. Um, Hotel management students uh, undergo training um, the last year, the year when they graduate. Uh, they take, I think, 15 week, a 15 week training abroad, which is, of course, we would like it to be longer, but only 15 weeks. So we encourage them to go abroad and to practice, of course, and to, to more pep as much as they can uh, when they are abroad. Other, of course, other students, right, um, also go through training. Of course, nurses, midwives, of course, need that. And of course, uh, every, I mean, uh, our agronomic students as well. Many students have already been uh, on training in the USA in, in hotels, in large hotel groups, chains. And uh, it's not, of course, it's great for them. It's great for them if we can send them to uh, um, an English-speaking country. Um, I, I we would love, of course, to, uh, to find other opportunities for them in the United States, indeed. And they would love to, <laughs> because traveling for them, of course, uh, well, broadens the mind, as we say. What we would like to see them develop. Maybe if they get opportunities, I mean, to study in the United States is to get a different view of the hotel market and of um, hotel management. Um, we already work with, um, we've already worked with chains, with hotel chains, with Sheraton, and we, of course, uh, are we would be very glad, of course, to, 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 to send them, to send them for further studies or simply, I mean, training sessions in hotels, in groups, in chains. Because I think hotel chains, hotel, uh, yes, hotel groups have, have their own, of course, their own way of doing things and of providing training, further training. So I think our students w would be, of course, really, really grateful if, if they could travel across the world and if they were given opportunities. Because so far, right, we have asked them so far to, to find by themselves. So their training, I mean the training, the hotel, uh, where the training can, uh, can take place. But if we can provide them with, of course, opportunities, right, uh, they, they will be, of course, very glad. Sustainable development is a brand new thing we are um, setting up this year. So the program is now being, I mean, being um, laid out. Um, so the purpose, of course, is to, um, to 
provide, I mean, a bachelor's degree and to turn our people, I mean, uh, with a mentality, that is to say, to um, economic development, right, can only go with, if we take care, I mean, of our environment. Mm. 